Susanna's here now. Well, that's Morning. interesting, isn't it? Do you want to get? Should we get something out of the way straight away? Have you have you been watching this program, for example, by way for of example. research? Well, have you? You two are obviously complete professionals. You, no, you so can say I've whatever never, you like. I've never spot a moment of awkwardness on this sofa. <laughs> You haven't no. been watching much, clearly. <laughs> clearly very you diplomatic. Have <laughs> Did you watch a lot of stuff? Loads of shows. Um, and obviously, you know, this show's being likened to the one show, uh, so that's a really good comparison. But, you know, throughout the years, there have been lots of brilliant kind of male-female duos presenting shows. And however brilliant a presenter you are, on live TV, there is always potential for awkwardness. Um, just that having Alan next to you, the stakes go up by about 90%. Um, so, yeah, there were loads of characters to draw from. And it's all in that sort of um, uh, what you do brilliantly is the kind of um, the smiley, I'm not panicking, but you clearly are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of kind of like duck leg paddling underneath the surface. Um, but yeah, Jenny, my character, absolutely has to make it look like everything's going fine um, and, and seem like they're getting on. Mm. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the comedy comes from that and her desperately trying to sweep up all his awful faux pas. Um, but yeah. Of which is littered with them, isn't it? Littered, Why is absolutely. it that Alan's got another break? Well, Given what's, what's happened previously. Well, yeah, he did kind of mess it up, didn't he? Big time. Um, well, my normal co-presenter suddenly gets ill um, and uh, the, yeah, the producers decide to bring in an emergency replacement, which happens to be Alan Partridge. And I think, you know, in 2019, they think, well, maybe we need someone who's a little, kind of, a little Englander, is what Steve Coogan kind of describes him as. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's where he kind of gets his moment. And then a lot of the comedy comes from him desperately trying to cling on to this opportunity and become a permanent fixture on the show. Uh, I, I, I spoke to Steve Coogan uh, not that long ago because he's in this fantastic Lauren Hardy film at the Amazing. moment. Yeah. And just had a little chat with him about the Alan Partridge character. Alan Partridge is making a comeback, isn't he, shortly? You can't keep a bad man down. The number of times <laughs> I have been accused, not in a good way, of being Alan Partridge. Well, I mean, it's an occupational hazard for uh, anyone who has to anchor a show and think on their feet because... Uh, so, so it's, I wouldn't take that uh, personally. Um, just tell us a little bit about um, learning the script as well, because you pretty much, I'm not, I'm not being rude here, you didn't, you, you learned it on, on air virtually, didn't you? Pretty much, yeah. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. Normally you learn your lines, yep. you know, for the audition and it doesn't really change that much. This changed many, many times. And that's because they tinker with the text to make sure it's the funniest it can be. Um, but yeah, I'm very often, I'm reading my script from the auto cue a bit like Welcome you guys do. Welcome to our world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was a real learning curve in that respect. But yeah. Alan fun. does that thing. I was noticing in that clip we showed before on the two shot. In fact, you can slightly see it. he does a real leaning. He 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 <laughs> active. He sort of leans in. Do you know? Because I, mean? I don't. There's that weird thing. No, isn't it? There's this thing about your your personal space. That's right. And it's. Yeah. I mean, we sit quite close together, right? We're not but, as close. Look at where his hand is. I know it's terrifying, isn't it? It's terrifying. Um, yeah, he's he's very um, he's very he can be quite affectionate towards Jenny, but um, but there's a, there's also yeah, I'm desperately trying to 